Hi, it's Lana from Three Birds Renovations and I want to show you this gorgeous new build by Beck Burrell. She's a reno school student in Mona Vale and she's let me come over today. Experience the wonder, experience new lights and see it all. Hi, Hi Lana. I've taken oh. my shoes off. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Show me around, take me on a tour. We really wanted to go with the wider hallway, just to have that open feel as you come through. And I just love that you've got this gorgeous sort of antique mirror as an entrance. Yeah, just a bit of a wow factor as you come into the house. We there. love wow factor. Now yeah. show me the great room. Oh, come on through. Discover it all. Breathless in all, we stand amazed. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> gorgeous. Really, it was all about the A-frame and the big pitched ceiling for us. We definitely, Bonnie's house. I, I'm getting that's, Bonnie's vibes. That's what we handed our architect, was the picture of you know, Bonnie's big A-frame window. So this was really the basis of our whole design. Every single time I walk in the home, coming in here puts a smile on my face. Well, it's beautiful, us. and show me this gorgeous kitchen. I mean, this is for entertaining. I love to cook, so I wanted a kitchen that really looked like a kitchen. You're right, I mean, this looks really industrial to me, and yes. you know, I'm not a, a, a chef or a cook, but this looks great. This to me says, you cook and you store a lot of food for cooking. Well, yes. But, and just to be able to stand here and look out across the room, look outside. Um, well, you can see, see everything. See yes. I love it, and I see you got a gas strut window in. That was a bit of a must for us. Was definitely. it? It was on the must list? After your place and Bonnie's um, yeah. and a lot of the other ones you've done, um, Gastrop was on the list of stuff we gave the architect as well. Um, and just being able to open up all of these doors, I mean, whether it's winter or summer, we have these open. So quite these a bit. are sliding stackers. Oh, oh, it's so easy. Yeah. I was expecting it really heavy. Well, this is sort of the relaxed. Zone. This aspect is just really holiday vibes. Yes. Well, that was part of our vision board was the holiday at home. Discover it all. I want to walk on this grass. It's so nice. The frangipani. Yes. This tree's been moved about four times since we bought the property. Really? Just with the different things that we've done and it survived every move. I love that. And I'm just looking at this beautiful gable roof the gable from out here. It looks great inside and out. It does. When you're like lying on the beanbag in the pool looking back, it is a beautiful view as well. Discover it all. Breathless in all, we stand amazed. So Beck, what was your vision for this home? Like what was your you, you created a vision board, I assume? We yes, I did. I did. I did the Reno school, signed up. I remember discovering um, you guys at Three Bird Renovations and just loving the style of homes that you were doing. And so I decided to do the Renault School. And um, from there, I think that there was a couple of places I got a lot of inspiration. One was um, Instagram. I know a lot use Pinterest, but for me it was Instagram and following a lot of accounts um, that were either renovating or uh, in a style that I loved or products that I loved. And the other was the Renault School Facebook group was quite invaluable throughout the renovating or building journey for me. Yeah. Just bouncing ideas off people in that group and asking questions and people posting what they had done was um, amazing. Because you've got a whole lot of like-minded people yeah. all doing the same. Oh, they're thing. so clever and they're so clever. Like yes. They're just, they've got great ideas. I mean, I still, I'm learning. I, I go down the rabbit hole in that Facebook group and you know, a couple of hours later come out going, oh, that was fabulous. And I love the V-groove panelling on the ceiling. Is that hardy groove? Yes. It's just such a coastal feel. It to is. The, to the it is. And your skylight's gorgeous. Yes. The natural light coming in. I really wanted to have um, some extra storage um, that we could utilise for things like other dinner plates and your napkins and your placemats and things that were easy access to the dining table. We've done a bar area at the end here, so yeah. this is all glasses and, and liquors and things like that. So, and these um, handles are just gorgeous. I love those. Cool. I've used them a few places through the house. What about the butlers? So we um, opted in here to have the extra dishwasher, the extra sink, yeah. the extra fridge. 
the wine racks in here as well. Our joiner yeah. designed that for us. That's which, fantastic. Yeah. I love how it's all different widths. Yeah, it's you a just, quirky kind it is, of It's pattern. like a puzzle. Yes. And I love this too. Just... If you need to hide the mess, close it off and it's as if it's not even there. <laughs> I left you on your, on your own then. Cabinetry's gorgeous. Thank you, yes. I'm very passionate about um, the cabinetry and it was all about um, storage for me throughout the house. One thing that I love in here is my bin system. You okay. Know, of all things to get excited oh, about. People but... love bins. People love a good bin. Where is it? So it's here, close to the sink, so yep. you can easily get things into the bin. But I've got rubbish, plastic recycling and the paper. So it's so handy. You literally can just, you know, oh. pick it up, walk it out tie it out there. So you can walk out with a couple of them. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, you oh, look at this. Bins have never been so fabulous. And that's the thing, when you design things the right way, it can make everything so much easier. Yeah, something that was a chore or awful is now a pleasure. Yeah. Look at that, love. Now this is so open plan, and I know you've got a, a family, and walking past, I noticed the biggest couch I've ever seen. Oh, I beg stop, tell me. I love a niche. These are gorgeous and you've even got the accent lighting going on. My grandfather was a well-known Australian potter. Really? So we're lucky to have some of his beautiful pieces. You put the niche in to house your to grandfather's house a couple pieces. Of the pots. We built custom built them. So sentimental. This is our media room in here. We definitely wanted to have another living space with three children that they could go off into and close the doors. But we definitely had some inspiration from House 10. House 10, yes, yeah, Sophie's and, house. And these glass barn doors. And the beauty about it is that they can close them, but we can still see what's happening yeah. in there. So I love that. And then the couch, well, you, sort oh! of, you want a media room where you can just come in here yes. and relax. This is Netflix binge heaven. Dreams come Oh, laundry heaven. Right in the heart of the home, right in the middle, because I do spend quite a bit of time in here, so yeah. it's quite handy that it's in the centre. But again, the cabinetry throughout here was really important. It's beautiful. Um, it's, this one's different, it's the V-groove cabinetry, but you've got the same handles. We have, so consistency with the handles, but I just love Shaker and V-groove, mm -hmm. so I've combined those throughout yeah. the house. And look, that's flashback, I've got to say, the penny oh. rounds. I do love Delightful. it. Delightful. I do love it. Uh, and then the other side here, we've got a full um, floor to ceiling storage. Oh, I didn't quite get I know, this. I do. Just, I oh often, my gosh. I often come in and I'll be like ironing the edge of my dress. This is just heaven for me. Here we go. And just give it a push. push. Mudroom. Another favourite because it's all about that storage again yeah. and designing it. We've got um, lockers or what I call our charging stations for each of the kids. We've got a spot to put their school bag, they've got a spot to hang a jacket, charging station for devices so that devices overnight are downstairs and charging. Then the last one I've dedicated to towels and some hand cream and magazines and the reason for that is because we've got, we finally got oh, installed. Cool. A, sauna. a sauna. I'm going in. <laughs> that is amazing. It is good. It's oh, handy. and the towel. So it was meant to be a study nook and partway through the build. I actually said to my husband, I'm sorry, I'm taking it. I'm measuring it up. It's perfect for a sauna. <laughs> what a luxury so, item. I love your little seating area here. So practical. Oh, well, every mudroom needs you know. seating, a mirror, some yeah. hooks, yeah. Yeah. a fancy light. <laughs> Of course, that's a gorgeous light. I love that. Yeah, so this is the guest bathroom, but it's more than a guest bathroom because it really is our um, way in from outside when you come home from the beach. You left the surfboard, you left the surfboard front. out the front. You come through after a, there's a shower out the front, so yeah. you may rinse off there, especially if you're sandy. But you just come in here, um, straight into this room. You can take your wetsuit off and hang it up on the hook. There's this no is walking through the house. Wet. This is such a simple design and I love having everything on one wall and yes. that wall's clear. It's a, it's a it's, walkway. It's a walkway. Through, so it's yeah. um, I yeah. love it. Oh, I love the window up here. 
Yes. That little corner window. That's beautiful. And the green, did you put that in intentionally for the greenery? Well, it's actually our neighbour's tree. So <laughs> hopefully it stays there because I love the greenery that you see yeah. as you walk up. That makes such a difference. Yeah. It's just gorgeous how it's just so cute there. And what made you put this ledge well, in? This this was a structural thing because the sauna's under here. Obviously, sometimes there's little adjustments you need to make while you're yeah. building. That was one thing where I went, that's not a wide enough landing. landing. So we actually changed and widened this and yeah, we have the this sauna feels, under there. This feels really wide because even though this comes to here, you've got all this arm space yes. and then you've used it. And I love this, yeah. these little strip, oh, they're not strip lights, these little, what are they called? Oh. Dot well, lights? They are. They're called Pin lights? Piccolos. But, um, Piccolo lights. They're brass piccolos. Beautiful at night. It is. It's nice just to have that on at night. Oh, wow. It's so wide up here and tall. It is. This was a bit of an unexpected um, space that we fell in love with once we actually stood in it. When we came up here, we were like, wow, look at the, the height in here. It's a beautiful space. Beautiful. And this is the master suite through here? It is. So we have linen cupboards. We did low profile, so it felt more open. But these oh, are this our is linen. Your linen. Yeah. I've not seen that before, but that's a fantastic, and it's so slim. I, it's slim. just fantastic. Yeah. I can tell they're push touch. Push touch, so <laughs> it's a very seamless look as you yeah. go through. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is the good life. Oh, this is beautiful. Your room, absolutely gorgeous. The high ceiling, the gable I see there. This space is really dictated a lot by the downstairs gable roof and left us with a big triangle window up, mm. up there, which we love. Like we can lie in bed and see the moon and stars mm. um, through that at night. But it did mean this whole space, we needed to really think about how we incorporated the bathroom and the bedroom because you can't do a wall up to the ceiling going across that I, window. I see, so you've kind of got a floating wall. You've got a short wall over the top to your ensuite and walk-in yes. robe. Oh God, this is beautiful. Oh wow. And so the side by side just worked for this room. It does. And you've sort of got all your wet area yeah. here at the end. Gorgeous. Another thing I absolutely love in here is the vertical towel rails. We've done these throughout the bathrooms upstairs. So they're heated, but again, we actually have and not And they dry? Needed... I would have yeah. thought your towel needs to be like this to dry. No, not at all. And do you know what? Kids and husband okay, right. would not hang towels up. I don't know what it is, but yeah. over the towel rail, it doesn't yeah. happen. Here, they hang them up most of the time. I love it. Yeah. So this is a walk-in wardrobe. Yeah, love. Beautiful, easy. So one side for hubby. One side for myself. Your I side's guess. bigger? Of course, yeah. definitely. And I may have taken a little bit of his side as I, well. I can see a white jacket that doesn't look like his. This is the good life. And what white did you paint the home in? We did Dulux Lexicon Quarter oh, that's throughout. Oh, yeah. So that it's a seamless look throughout. Yeah, Lexicon Quarter is an absolute classic. Very hard to go wrong it's with. It's cool, it's crisp, it's beautiful. You've done well. I mean, I've got Lexicon Half. I mean, Lexicon Quarter, fabulous. Yeah. Like, here, here for Lexicon, love it. Just keep a smile, hold your head up high. All right, little girl's room. Or well, not little, how old is she? 13. 13. Oh no, she's, I've got a 14 year old, so ah, I know what a 13 year old's yes. like. High school, she's got the desk built in over here. Plenty of wardrobe space, a makeup desk, drawer, mirror. That's gorgeous. Um, is this where I think it's from? It oh, is. Kmart? It is. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to say Kmart and you say, uh, no, I spent $400 on that mirror. You would have spent about $40 on $40. that mirror. $40. And so we're yet to put the Hollywood lights in because there's yeah. a power switch that she can turn on makeup lights. You may have noticed that mirror down in our downstairs bathroom. Was that Kmart too? It's great too? at oh, Yes. It's a good oh, hack. It's such a good hack, yeah. that one. The boys. Here they are. They're here. So they've got a bathroom to share. Yep. And they've pretty much got, because it's symmetry of the house, they've got a mirror image of each other, their bedrooms. Gorgeous. We had one that loves surfing. Yeah. So he chose the east side. Oh, he he's closer way. to the beach than his brother. The beach. And this is a great example of where I can see you've styled the room in a way that's, to us, gorgeous. But to your son also means something because it's surfy. Yes. Ah, oh, the front. Well, we definitely wanted to go with 
the the beach coastal kind of feel and look. Yeah. And then with the actual exterior paint colour, we've gone with the Dulux Tranquil Retreat on the exterior of the house. It's a beautiful With grey. the white trim. The contrast looks beautiful. And just we added a few little things like the trellis like across the front here. It makes a but, huge um, difference, fretwork. It does. Yeah. It just adds um, another level of character. Perfect spot to create a outdoor shower. This is your outdoor shower. Yeah. And then I see then you've got this, the stepping stones lead to the side gate. Yes. Which is that entry into the bathroom. It is. So when you come back from the beach, um, there's no need to go through the house. It's yeah. literally into the bathroom or straight down to the pool. And, and I, I think... love that you can also just step straight up onto the front porch here as well. Yeah. There's no railing or anything, just the hedge at the front, but it's it takes very social. Thank you. Oh, oh, look at that. All we're missing is that gin and tonic you were talking oh, about already. earlier. We've got the muscle memory. Yes. We're just missing insert here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the good life. Oh, oh, oh. This is the good life. Oh, oh, oh. Out in the sunshine. Nothing but good times. This is the good life. This is the good life.